musical traditions of the universal church are treasures of immense value. Singing and chanting by the whole congregation is an integral part of the Orthodox liturgy. Some of the beautiful hymns we sing today were composed by St. Ephraim the Syrian in the 4th century who started the practice of choir singing in the church. Today, our Orthodox seminary at Kottayam runs a special institute for liturgical music. This institute, called Shruti, aims at the ordering and renewal of the musical tradition in our church. The invisible and unknowable God is made known to us in the incarnation of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is also the true image of the Father. Orthodox religious paintings try to express the mystery of God and the incarnation through the beauty of colors, lines, and drawings. We portray and experience the living presence of Christ the Holy Virgin Mary, and all the saints, both men and women. The Christian iconography or religious painting expresses in art form the same gospel message that scriptures communicate in words. These are often found painted on the altar walls and hanging in the churches. They also highlight the great cloud of witnesses to whom we are united, especially during the Holy Kurbana. Sacred images in our churches and homes are meant to awaken and nourish the faith in the mystery of Christ. Jesus and his disciples spoke Aramaic which is from the same Semitic family as Hebrew and Syriac. Because of her historical spiritual connections with the East Syrian church in the Persian Empire and later with the West Syrian tradition of Antioch, we have come to use Syriac in our liturgy from very early times. However, today Malayalam is used in almost all of our churches and the use of Syriac in the liturgy is diminishing. To suit the needs of the growing church, translations of the liturgy have been made into English, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Canada, German and French. <laughs> 